I haven't done a damn thing all day. All I want to do is lay down and take a nap. We all get stuck in a rut sometimes. It's only natural. But breaking up that routine can have actual documented neurological benefits. It can create new neural connections, which can lead to increased creativity, attention, and ultimately productivity. That's why this week we asked Victoria and Xander to each make a major change to their everyday habits designed to give their productivity a boost. I had to like stay toasty all day. So I like wore my winter coat and I had like a scarf and a hat on. Studies have shown that setting the temperature to 77 degrees, well above the average office, causes participants to perform basic tasks better and with more accuracy. But while it may be beneficial to crank the heat, it's often difficult to turn up the office thermostat. That's why we asked Victoria to wear some warmer clothing. And you look like um, Ron Swanson when he has a cold. <laughs> Just stick a mustache on me and like paint my nose red and that, I, that was me. So how did it go for you? Not well. <laughs> Not well. I was pretty miserable. I was just like hot you were just and gross. You sitting in, a, in an oven. I was sitting in you an oven. Bacon. I had to go to a meeting, but it was. Did you go bundled up to the meeting? Yeah, and I walked in <laughs> and they were like, hey, what's the matter? How was your productivity? Were you able to get stuff done? No. The yeah. heat made me super, super drowsy, super drowsy. sleepy. I was so hot that I felt dizzy. I was dying. Somebody in the office was like, you look like you're Schwetzen. And I was like, I am, I am Schwetzen. Um, is it Schwitzing? Is it Schwitzing? Schwitzing. Schwitzing. Potato, potato. So my challenge was to smell lemons intermittently throughout the day. Science suggests that the scent of lemons increases concentration in calm. In fact, workers in a Japanese study committed 54% fewer errors while smelling lemons. I, I just liken it to like smelling salts. Like when you're passing out and they crack. Yeah, it's just kind of like, woo. Yeah, it like wakes you up. A little zap of energy. What was your initial reaction when you saw the lemons when you came in this morning? It was very surprising and it was funny and it was a great way to start a Thursday. Smelling a lemon definitely like wakes you up a little bit. I think there's a mental trick where if you think about biting into a lemon, your mouth will water. Not I'm like gonna a, try it. Mm, yeah, a little bit. When I would reach for a lemon and like put it to my nose, I got very self-conscious. Like, this is weird. This weird. But did the weird outweigh the pleasantry of it? I would say the weird was a part of the pleasantry. It was just a good way to get my head out of what I was doing at that moment. Mm -hmm. It was not a good fit for me. But now I know. You don't know unless you try but I will not be trying again. So how did it feel when you finally took off uh, your jacket, your coat? So good! I'm gonna rip the hat off and take yeah. the scarf off. I chucked my coat across the room. Yeah. Were you more productive from that moment onward? Did you, did... no. Okay. <laughs> I sat in silence for like a good five minutes with the fan directly on my face. Do you think you'll be smelling lemons again? I think it'll be one of the tricks I have up my sleeve. Xander's coming for that lemon. For sure. Boy, do I, does a lemon really get me going. It's just something about those lemons, guys. Something about those lemons.